هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور كريستوس أنستي ابن كرون ثنات ثنات باتيساس كتيس انتذني ماسي زويف كاريسا منوس It's time for another vlog again. <laughs> another segment of the, of the BTS vlog, anyways. Uh, I got uh, Kabantu 1310 tested, the uh, first video of Ubuntu BSD Unix tile. Um, the new editing bay is up. It worked okay. Uh, I was satisfied with the way everything worked. So now on to further tests and so to see uh, what can be done to improve things. So, you know, once your basic test of functionality is done, you then go for improvement. So, let's give you a brief, t uh, an approximate time and date stamp. When I get to the store and get a receipt, I'll give you a more accurate time and date stamp. I think it's uh, uh, 17 hours and 35 minutes into the day of Wednesday, May 7th or 8th, 2014. And uh, we're off to go shopping. <laughs> yeah, we're doing our weekly shopping thing, and so we're walking and we're talking. That's uh, kind of how we do things. I'm still kind of tired. I'm in that sort of uh, burnout, uh, sleep exhaustion mode. So that doesn't help things <laughs> when you're walking, when your body's uh, exhausted. But, you know, uh, it's not that bad. Uh, it'll take me about a half hour, my body will wake up, uh, and then I'll be okay. So, uh, we can talk and do our philosophy as we're going along. Very nice day out today. It was supposed to rain. It's supposed to be raining out, but it's not actually raining out. It's uh, actually rather nice, so. <laughs> uh, the A for that. Anyways, I'll come back in a bit. I kind of forgot what I was going to say. I'm still kind of sleepy because I just got up about a half hour ago. And uh, we we're going to get the rest of our day started. I already see in a bit. I often don't hear the beep. For some reason, the beep doesn't always uh, sound. So I never know exactly know when I'm recording or not. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I said I'd give you a more exact time and date stamp. And right now, I just finished shopping. It is uh, 20 hours and this is about 30 minutes into the day of Wednesday, May 7th. That's right, May 7th, 2014. Uh, the kitchen diner is coming along very well. Uh, I'm making more and more items in there that is becoming more and more functional. I just got two more, I guess, experimental items. Uh, I'm going to be trying to make uh, the Vietnamese uh, banh mi sandwiches. And so I got some of the Vietnamese spiced ham and some of their uh, pork roll. So I want to try to see uh, what the meat actually tastes like. And then if I can recognize the uh, items within the meat, uh, the goal is over the summer is to start making my own pork sausages and actually in general make my own sausages in general. I've got the curing the whole meats down. But now the, th the thing is, uh, I want to be doing sausages, so uh, <laughs> that's going to be the next goal for the kitchen the kitchen diners to do sausages. I also have on schedule for the summer to start doing uh, chocolates and candy. That should be a lot of fun, of course, because I am a chocolate hawk, but it's, it's getting rather expensive to get chocolate, you know, in terms of the, in, in, in the regular stores. So 
the next best stop next best option is to make it so uh, I think that will be on schedule for the summer as well in addition to sausage making uh, and doing some more fix up some more uh, renovation work in the kitchen diner uh, basically the renovation work is ongoing it's always being upgraded updated uh, just like everything else because you don't start off uh, with a full diner. I don't have enough money to do that. So if things come in piece my pieces in pieces bit by bit by bit, and you start putting them together to form that diner. And as you form the diner, you want you get your eventual layout the way it is. Right now, I think the layout is pretty good. There are some still issues with the layout. So now that the layout is more or less the way it's going to be, I can now start working on decoration and. Uh, the interior decor of the diner uh, and that will be sort of what's going to go on during the summer uh, in addition to some minor upgrades in terms of renovations to the to the uh, kitchen diner uh, I'm also going to be doing uh, the decor work so I haven't decided exactly what the decor is going to be yet but uh, you know these are things that uh, uh, for myself is best left up to whim leave it in the moment and then as the moment comes I'll decide what I want and what I don't want uh, and then I'll possibly even change things up as I go along uh, anyways I'm coming across the street so I'll see you in a bit there is a saying that, that says that there is no time like the present <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. Got our timer started, and now let's give you the time and date stamp. It is 19 hours and 36 minutes into the day of Friday, May uh, 9th, 2014. Yeah, we're out the weekend again. But uh, this whole weekend vlog thing that I had done a while ago, it seems like a long time ago, is not working out. Uh... <laughs> uh, it was when I was uh, trying to get a vlog up every day. I'm not trying to get a vlog up every day. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to film a vlog every day. And the reason why is it's not that I'm a vlogger per se, uh, but rather, and the, the people have asked this question here, asked the question about am I a vlogger? And I say, well, yes and no. Uh, vlogging is... Uh, uh, basically a video journal. It's a video log of what you do. And most girls keep logs and journals. Uh, most girls have, they won't call them logs, they'll call them journals. But if you look at Star Trek, you look at any of the scientists, they also keep logs and journals of the work they do on a daily basis. Uh, the girls' logs and journals have somewhat of a time and date stamp in them, but they're not as formal about it uh, or, or scientific about it. My uh, time and date step occurs at the beginning usually uh, if I can remember to do it uh, or if I have the time in front of me uh, because it marks the day and time that I'm recording this at as part of a scientific log. So because I am a scientist, because science is part of my life, it records what I do on a daily basis. So that's what, yeah, I am a vlogger, but vlogging is more, it's more along the scientific lines. It's more along the lines of science than it is uh, simply a personal journal. And this is kind of what uh, 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 Big Bang Theory RL is all about. Big Bang Theory RL is uh, about my life personally, the, the way I am like, like, as a Sheldon Cooper. Uh, and now that the upgrades have come in, I now have more room, more capacity to bring in the Insta vlogs the way I had wanted to. Because remember, there's two segments to uh, Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, there is the BTS vlog, which is this behind the scene vlog here. And then there is the Insta vlog, which are the more complex, the more in depth vlogs into uh, a variety of areas that uh, are coming up. For example, 
Uh, one of the things you will see in the uh, Insta vlogs will be the content that's coming for a new channel called uh, Bath TV or the Byzantine and Antiquity Studies uh, Institute channel. Uh, that's one of my research institutes, and I'll be doing a lot of work in there. Uh, that I'll be filming today uh, the um, intro to the channel, and I will be filming uh, an Insta vlog, and I will be filming a uh, a, a show, uh, a half hour show called Meditations, um, for that channel today as well. And so you'll be able to, you'll have you'll have to get that show. Which is actually part of Cyborg Alpha TV. You'll have to get the show over on on Bass TV. You'll have to go over to that channel. There will be a link to that channel, uh, and you'll be have to go over and get that show at that channel because I realize it's too much to put all the shows I plan to produce on one channel. YouTube makes it very difficult to go through all the different stuff. So I, right now I'm splitting it up onto, onto different channels that are aligned with the various different institutes, and so. These are research institute channels. This is where the research is going to be presented. And uh, so if you want more in-depth information that covers on Byzantine Antiquity Studies, this is in philosophy, this is in theology. Uh, there's a variety of, uh, of, of the ancient studies that are in there, particularly Eastern philosophy and Eastern theology is going to be there. Then, uh, then that's where you go. Uh, if you're into space and physics, right, you want to see what's going on in space and physics, then you'll go on to the AP uh, Space TV, right, on, on, on to AP, uh, AP, the, AP, the AP Space Channel. That channel is specifically uh, for uh, anything to do with uh, astronomy, physics, and um, the space program. So. Uh, that's where you go for that, and any of there will have ghost hunting. We'll have a lot of things that have to do with physics in there. So we have the different channels for the different things. So that's where we're going to, how we're going to sort of align things uh, and sort of keep things organized as well. Uh, because we've got new upgrade, the upgrade is new upgrade is working well. The editing, new editing bay is working well. That means we can add in, work it, bring in. Uh, more content, and that means we would bring back uh, both Adventures in the Library and uh, Cyborgs and Cybernetics. Uh, that's the show on, uh, well, Cyborgs and Cybernetics. Uh, so we'll be bringing that back uh, uh, more likely, more likely than not, over the weekend. So <laughs> there's going to be a lot of content going up, uh, being filmed and going up over the weekend. So. Uh, look for more content. Look for uh, more options in terms of what you want to watch on on Cyborg Alpha TV. Now we're going to be spreading out as a network, uh, having a variety of different channels. Uh, if you're interested in sponsoring something, then you know be my guest. Uh, uh, it, we are moving towards a uh, in terms of a sponsorship model. We're looking at something type uh, along the type of a uh, PBS style type of uh, sponsorship. Uh, so, uh, if you know what PBS is, the uh, public broadcast channel, then that's what you're looking at. Uh, it's, we can offer, at certain points of time, um, spots that are between 5 and 10 seconds in length. Uh, this will be at the end of each video, and you can, do, you can put your stuff there. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for now. Well, no, it's not. We've got a minute left. <laughs> I'm running ahead of my time. So, uh, yeah, the things are working out very well. I'm starting to get things back in order again after the upgrades. So, that, and that's sort of what you see, you see here, that things are moving along. We've got new capacity, and, and uh, progress is definitely being made. So, yay for that. Oh, before I forget, Christos Anesti. Uh, we still have another, uh, we still have until Ascension to say Christos Anesti. But I give the Pentecost anyways. I still sometimes will still say it after even after Pentecost because, well, let's extend it to there. <laughs> I like I like I like uh, I like Pasca. Uh, so, uh, anyways, our time is now up. I'm now right about the time. So, uh, anyways, I will see you later. <laughs>
good morning everybody yeah we have a new film schedule uh, set up and working out so uh, you what you'll start seeing is you're gonna start well you're gonna already see this because by the time this vlog gets out because we are behind in our vlogs uh, the time this segment gets out uh, you'll already see that we've got a lot more content coming up now uh, we've got our film schedule uh, working out pretty well. The work schedule in terms of uh, work on the um, the warehouse project, the, ma the machine shop warehouse, that's coming along. The closet project's coming along. Uh, in other words, uh, all projects for Kitchen Diner, uh, Beauty and the Geek, and almost every other area is now starting to progress faster. The upgrades did what they were supposed to do. They gave me new capacity to do things more efficiently. I'll give you an example of the total efficiency model. Uh, normally, let's say in an hour, take an hour as your standard standard time as a measure, and in that hour, you're able to get so much work done. Uh, let's say you're able to complete one task in the hour. Oh, there's my phone. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Once you have one project done, and that's your standard one project per hour, the next question you want to ask yourself, well, can I do two projects per hour? And this is where the efficiency mode come in. If you, if you can upgrade to a point where you can get two or even three products done in an hour then uh, you've actually improved your efficiency because rather than doing one project in an hour you can do three projects in an hour and the way I've sort of done this is, is, is it, it can also be done by breaking up your project into sub projects that in many cases there are certain projects let's say we have three or four different projects at the sub-project level, there are certain functions and certain uh, things that have to be done that are common to all projects. So if you can get and find these common things and start working on the common areas and then work from the common areas to the more specific areas uh, that have to be done, then, when hap then what happens is that you've now increased your efficiency because you're now working on three or four things at the same time. And this is kind of what's happening here is that the computer is the way we've set the network up. Uh, I can work uh, on three or four different projects at the same at the same time, and this means the amount of work I can get done uh, per project is increasing. Uh, the amount of work that I can get done per week is increasing. So uh, that's sort of what I'm working on now. I'm trying to sort of get this sort of uh, everything kind of squared away and sort of see where our schedules are at. Uh, and try to start putting together because this is what's happening now is more of the pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together the institutes are starting to be being pulled together you see these uh, as the uh, new um, uh, the new institute channels for cyborg alpha TV network because we're now uh, emerging as a network this year uh, and that will be with the pro the network project is going to be the summer project we're going to be trying to emerge as much as possible as a network uh, have a wider variety of uh, of offerings in terms of which you can see here, uh, and then hopefully if the summer goes well, depending on how the summer goes, because this pro these products are starting to come together, the goal will be for October is to see whether or not we can aim towards the live launch of Physics TV. That will be the goal. Uh, it's a tentative goal. Uh, it's not a hard and fast goal. This is sort of Right now, we're you know, mulling it over. Uh, so, I don't know how that's going to end up working out. Uh, <laughs> but, it is a possibility for October. So, uh, that's where we are with that. Uh, <laughs> so, we've got a lot. See, October is where we're, uh, we're going back to school. And the new projects for the year will start. Oh. Uh, well, more or less start because September is kind of a wash. You start you start back to school uh, basically mid September. Uh, you, that's where you really start getting into some of the routine of back to school, 
And so what happens, September is primarily review. You go over what you did the year before. Um, you clean up projects that uh, were finished, and but the, the remnants are left behind. Uh, and then you try to uh, sort of set your new schedule for the, for the rest of the year. I mean, that's, that's kind of what September is. September is setting your new school schedule. And the thing is, if you're a researcher like, like I am, you're doing open exploration, you're in school for the rest of your life. So every time you, there's a back-to-school back, uh, back um, uh, time, all the kids are going back to school, that, that's exactly what, what, what's going on here is we're getting ready for a brand new school year and, and the, the textbooks here are, are not only uh, other uh, books like you know like I forgot again like this you know hard physical books but they're the sky they're the grass they're the walking they're the meditations are all forms of experience in textbooks uh, the, anything you learn from is a textbook so uh, Getting your subjects in order and what you're going to be learning from uh, is all part of what goes on in September. And, and it's basically it's that you're wrapping up what you did the year before and trying to see what's going to be ahead new for this year. And more often than not, it's, it, the feelings range anywhere from grade three, grade three all the way up to um, basically grade eight, grade nine. So as I said, I, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm on the outside of the tween, you know, if you go down to grade three, grade three is kind of on the outside of grade, uh, of the tween, but uh, at the same time, I'm a little on the outside of the tween when you're getting into uh, grade nine, but it does sort of, on both ends, you get you kind of get into gray areas there where, where you're sort of grade three, you're sort of grade nine, uh, and basically, when you're sort of grade nine, you fall back to grade three start all over again but you quickly move out of that grade three spot and into the higher grade that leads you into the, into the sort of the tween stage so that's where you are more often than not and so when you um, reset the schedules that's exactly what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself back in that tween stage again uh, anyways uh, I'm going to uh, go our time is now up I have uh, one more thing to film before we go. I'm going to be filming Adventures in the Library. So look for uh, new content on uh, the on the Bass TV. On Bass TV. Oh, all right. Take it easy. Good morning, everybody. And it is morning. Well. <laughs> Technically, it's morning. It's uh, about uh, 1.30 in the morning, so <laughs> it is morning. It is what's happened. It's, it's the usual morning that happens here is that uh, morning can be any time. Uh, I don't really have a standard sleep schedule. It sort of, I go to bed when I can, and I get up when I wake up. So that's the way it, the way it works out. Uh... The, that's kind of a, 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 a difficult way to vlog because you don't have a set standard time to do that because everything else is kind of in flux. So let me give you the time and date seven, and then we can get talk, started. We can get uh, talking about this. It is one hour and 39 minutes into the day of Monday, May 12th, 2014. And because this is morning, uh, that means there was no vlog for Sunday. For yesterday, even though I was up during periods, I just, uh, sorry, oh, sorry, yeah, M Monday was, I didn't, there was no vlog for Sunday, May 11th, 2014, because uh, I wasn't simply in the, the frame of mind to vlog. Uh, I will try to correct that, um, but I'm not really too sure <laughs> how it's going to work out, but you know. Uh, what's happening, in, uh, and uh, you'll kind of figure this out uh, before the vlog is up because you'll see the changes on the channel, is that we're now moving from Cyborg Alpha TV to Cyborg Alpha TV Network. That means we're expanding, we're growing, there's new shows that have been filmed. Uh, I'll be getting down to the filming of uh, Beauty and the Geek uh, this week, so you'll see a Beauty and the Geek this week as well. In other words, our filming uh, our filming schedule is back on track. It's back where it needs to be, 
and we're now starting to produce more and as this occurs we are spreading out to different research institute channels do uh, the different research institute channels uh, and this will comprise will, will make up all these different institute channels will make up cyborg alpha TV network and that work has already begun we've already begun to sort of to roll that out uh, I'm now functioning as cyborg alpha TV network so the background work has already sort of started it started yesterday uh, cyborg alpha mu uh, has been completely upgraded it now has uh, additional capacities and I'm not actually using these capacities so the upgrade has been successful in, in that it, it added new capacities that it didn't have before and they're already in use uh, this added capacity to the research desk so that's already in use and you will see that and this is one of the reasons why um, uh, we are now in network mode. Ugh. Ugh. Right. One of the reasons why we are in network mode is because the upgrades. The upgrades worked. They added new capacity and new functionality. And with this functionality came the uh, network mode. So this gives us, as I said before, a target date for Physics TV, which will be the 24 hour live streaming channel. Uh, that is now on schedule in terms of a tentative schedule. We are now looking at a projected date of October 2014, so uh, just a few months away. We are work. I uh, we are, we me and my computers are working away towards that date. Uh, I don't know what I will have. I'm aiming for a uh, six-hour production schedule, a six-hour a six-hour schedule. I mean six hours of shows. Uh, repeated four times. That will give you 24 hours in an over a seven-day period. So I should have enough content by October to start that to do to do that work. Uh, but that means I'm going to really have to push my production schedule to its absolute limit. Uh, I know there's going to be setbacks. So uh, I said, hopefully October. I think October will probably be where we start testing. Uh, the different methods of doing live streaming and then once that's done then uh, it's going to, going to be a uh, it will be announced probably but so the, I would I would say let's, let's sort of look at the I would say beginning of October the first week of October we'll test live streaming uh, once we will do I'm gonna say let's say do two months of testing for live streaming and then once we do the two months of testing for live streaming, then we, that will leave us get us into uh, December because October, November will be tests for live streaming. Then that will give us uh, until December to bring in the full six-hour schedule, and I should be at that point by then to do that. We'll sort of see how this whole thing plays out. Uh, but what happens is once physics TV uh, physics TV is on live streaming, uh, that doesn't mean that Cyborg Alpha TV network is going to go away. Uh, what Cyborg Alpha TV network is going to do, and this is what it's doing now, is it's going to keep its function. You're going to see behind the scenes. You'll see shows in season zero. You'll see shows that are being developed. You'll see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. And this is why we're vlogging here. That you would that you would not ordinarily see on other channels. So. If you want to see behind the scenes, and you want to see it behind the scenes on a regular basis, that's Cyborg Alpha TV. And it's always going to be video on demand. Live streaming is going to be physics TV. So uh, you're going to have two options. You can do live streaming or you can do video on demand. Uh, both will be there. So <laughs> um, you, can take your, you can take your pick. So uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, I think we'll leave it here because uh, that was primarily our topic today. And we do seem to be running overtime on some of our videos. If you notice that the uh, uh, BTS vlogs has now sort of increased, uh, we're between the 30 and 40 minute mark now. Uh, that was unintentional. I didn't really intend to do that. But the thing is, uh, the scheduling has fall, sort of fallen off. I did have this on a schedule, but when my schedule kind of went into the wind, so did the schedule for. Um, uh, BTS vlogs. So now it's it's basically 
uh, vlog whenever you can, and then <laughs> everything else fits in between, so, uh, yeah, anyways, I will see you, Ooh, I'm sorry about that again, <laughs> I'll see you later, alright, take it easy, bye-bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.